And we're back with some more Star Sector. And today we are going to be doing the Kaiser Soze Challenge. Hmm, we're going to need an appropriate picture for this. There we go. Perfectly mysterious. Now the Kaiser Soze Challenge is pretty simple, right? All you do is you're allowed to pick from any start you want. I, I'm going to go with the uh, Apogee Class Cruiser. It's one of my faves. And uh, we'll start. You have to skip the tutorial. Can't do the tutorial. That makes this way too easy. And then you get to start the game. And the rules, very, very simple. You are not allowed to turn your transponder back on. Once you've turned your transponder off, you cannot turn it back on again, ever. If you get caught and are forced to turn it back on because the patrol catches you or something like that, nope, nope, you're done, that's it, you failed to run. So the plan is, once you leave your starting area, as in this system here, once we go out and leave the system, we have to turn off our transponder. Then we can't turn it back on again, ever, and if we do, we failed. And then we have to make a million bucks, or a million credits, without ever having turned our transponder back on or getting caught by a patrol. Now, if you've never played this game before, that's uh, that's going to be an interesting thing, because these patrols, they're going to hunt down anyone who doesn't have the transponder on. Think of it like your license plate. They're going to come searching for you. The moment they see you, or if they catch you on their scanners, they'll run you down and like force you to turn on your scanner or fight you. One or the other. Your choice. So we're going to have to be a little bit creative about how we configure our fleet. I think the first thing we're going to do is probably sell a bunch of ships. Now, I want to use the Apogee because it's got a decent amount of cargo and we need to make a million bucks, remember, without ever turning it back on again. So we're going to need some cargo space, some fuel for missions, a few things like that. So I'm thinking, yeah, we're just going to sell them. Now, we could scuttle them, but I do find that selling them nets us just about the same amount of money and it's just easier to do. So we're going to sell all this. It'll give us a nice bit of starting cash to, to go with. And we're going to have a quick check here under fleets to see if we can buy any ones. We are looking for something with phase cloaking. And one of those phase ships... Any of them? Oh, a shade. Okay, this thing has a phase field on it. That thing will help us uh, decrease our visibility. We'll, we'll be back for that in a second. Allow me to just sell off some of this gunk. We are a little bit overloaded with crew and fuel. Selling all of that stuff, basically the extra crew and fuel, nets us 21 grand, which it's not really going to do us an awful lot of good. Uh, Fleet-wise, though, few changes to make. Actually, let's demonstrate the differences that's going to happen here. If we leave here right now with just our one ship, you will see that our radar profile down here, our sensor profile, is 1,390. So we can make a few changes to make that smaller. Well, one, turning off our transponder would help, but we can't do that because we're currently in range of all the patrols, but soon enough, soon enough. What we can also do is come in here and we have a skill, sensors. This one we can get, and what it does is it makes us much harder to detect, it increases our sensor range, it increases our burn level when we're moving slowly, and it gives us access to high-resolution sensors. So we, yeah, we're going to confirm that. That will make us just a little bit better at being sneaky, which is very important right now. Oh, and that should have dropped our sensor profile to 1042. Very nice, very nice. Then we'll go back in here, we'll go to fleet, and we're going to pick up that cloaked ship. Where were you? Ah, yes, the shade phase frigate. We are going to buy you. Welcome to the team. Very, very, very expensive. And then we're going to go in here and maybe make a few changes. We are going to be trading for all of our money pretty much because getting into fights with the fleet that can't be seen is really, really difficult. Remaining unseen and fighting that... No, 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 not this early on. So we've basically expanded the cargo holds and given it some auxiliary fuel tanks. Uh, yet, yeah, never mind. We're, we're never going to be fighting in that thing, hopefully. Now we've got to make a few modifications to our core ship as well. A little bit of auxiliary fuel tanks and expanded cargo holds. We now have a fair bit of storage on our fleet. We're not that shabby anymore. Okay. Now, I probably should have done that before I sold off the excess fuel and things, but you know what? You live and you learn. Okay. Ooh. Augmented drive field. One second. That costs a horrific 12,000, but... It is a very, very powerful bonus for our fleet. Uh, for example, this ship here can move at a speed of 10. The maximum burn on this ship is only 8. So if we could say cram on, let's get rid of the auxiliary fuel tanks. And let's add, add on this uh, augmented dry field. Great, we need 24 space. You know what? I will make the space. Done. Now we move at 10 speed. That was actually a really lucky find. That's going to change our speed drastically and make us far less likely to get caught. Right. All of that done, what does that get our sensor profile down to? Hopefully something less horrifying. Uh, oh, still 1054. Yeah, we have to actually turn off our transponder. Preferably after we get away from these guys. First, though, we need to f find a destination. Somewhere we want to go so that we can buy and sell stuff. Let me check and see if there's any good deals going on on drugs or weapons or something. Now, figuring out what to trade is 
tricky. You see, we're at Jangela. This is where we just start, and we'll probably never be able to come back here again. This place is so heavily patrolled that getting back in is going to be a nightmare. So we want to make sure we get a good trade deal for our first run. What I've been able to determine is there's a problem in the Corvus star system. The system we're in, the Garnier pirates have lost a shipment recently. Now, this is not the easiest thing to figure out, but you can. Uh, for example, we just go in here and we're going to check under consumers, and we can see people who've got us uh, currently have a negative. And it's Garnier, the, the one in this system. And if we just hover over them and check, it tells us because they've got minus 10% because they had a trade fleet lost recently. So that's actually driven down the prices on Marines, which means they've got a negative in those. Also drugs, fuel, uh, supplies, and finally heavy weapons. Garner is running a negative on all of those. So we should maximize our trade right now. And I'm thinking, yeah, some heavy armaments will sell for a pretty penny over there. And they're not too expensive right here. Also, yeah, they need Marines and we've got the space and they've got an excess here. So yes, we will take all of those as well. And that leaves us with fuel. They're paying a premium on it, so we'll take it because we've got spare space in the tank, so why not carry it over? That leaves us between drugs and supplies. They'll actually play a... They'll pay us about 70 bucks a pop extra on supplies and on drugs... Oh, they'll pay us about a 300 buck markup on drugs. Okay, we'll take as much drugs as we can... Yeah, yeah, okay, well, we can't afford that many. Fine, we'll take uh, as many as we can afford without bankrupting ourselves. Okay, first run. So, we gotta get all the way over there and not get hurt? Okay, let's leave. Yeah, where are we heading? Uh, this place. And we still haven't left the home system, which, okay, I, I know we should have already done that, but you know what? Let's go over here and once we're far enough out of range, I think about here is fine. We can stop the heavy burn and then we can immediately, once we hit this place, we're in this uh, asteroid field, it drastically reduces your sensor profile. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go dark. And that should mean we are no longer visible to anyone. Perfect. Who's that? Identified sensor contact. Let's go have a look. Now we gotta sneak in real slow like. Oop, active sensor burst. And over here we've got Yeah, unknown raiding the Corvus star system. Pretty sure that's pirates. Let's just hide in the asteroid belt. Who are you? Looking for your fleet. Well that's not good. Uh, I'd prefer if they didn't find our fleet. Bye-bye now. <laughs> this is basically the horror of this game, is you've got to remain completely hidden. Uh, hidden or, like, the pirates will just kill us. Others will make us turn on our transponder. Either way, we're doomed. Now, one other thing we have to do is we have to visit every dockside bar, I ch checked in the last one, and see if they have any smuggling missions or any stealth missions. If they do, we have to accept, no matter how stupidly impossible they are. Okay. Ah, uh, what kind of opportunity? I need a steady supply. No, 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 we can't do this. We'd actually have to have a planet for this, so this is not an option for us. So we can just go back into trading. Now, let's see how much we can make selling all of the goodies we brought with us. By selling lots of drugs, marines, heavy armaments, supplies, heavy machinery, and a whole bunch of fuel, we managed to net ourselves 112 grand. That's actually a pretty tasty haul. It's actually a damn good haul. Now, let's see where we're going to be headed next. I think our best bet to make a safer profit where we're less likely to get caught, Echo Breeze in Tritachion space. They sell drugs pretty cheap and they're close enough to it. Actually, let me show you. You go to Hybrasil, which is over here. We can go to System Map and we can take out Echo Breeze. It's right here and it's right beside these rings. These rings, we can hide inside them and then dip in and grab our supplies and then dip back out again making it much easier to dodge patrols. There's other home systems where, like, say, that one over there, that would be much harder to get into. You're going to be coming in pretty much naked, and it'd be much harder to trade with them. So Echo Breeze is usually a good place to get drugs. However, they do have an insulated engine assembly here. We would like to purchase that. That allows us to decrease our sensor profile even further, which is excellent. They also have expanded missile racks, a Squall M LMRS, and a high-intensity laser. All of those things look incredibly tasty, and we currently have come into a little bit of money we could use. Uh, hold on while I do a bit of refitting. We can't quite afford to fit on the expanded missile racks, but this Squall MLRS, that will be a good addition. That will smash down shields, combine that with the high-intensity laser, we have a good chance to actually kill some things if we get caught in a fight. We're not going to be able to take on big stuff, though, but a few small things, it might be possible. Oh, yeah, I should probably put in that insulated engine assembly while we're here as well. Damn it, won't work. It's, uh, we can only have two logistical mods per hull unless we build some of them in, and we don't have any story points yet. I say yet, I'm hopeful that when we actually leave here we'll have generated some experience from all our trading. 
I mean, it doesn't hurt to dream a little bit. And, oh, they've spotted us. Nah, I think we're good to get out of here. I don't think they wanted to tangle us, tangle with us. We were big enough. Where are you going? Raiding the Corvus star system. All right, time to go to Hybrasil. What's our character looking like? We didn't get any story points for that trading? Well, that's just mean. Hey, right, Hybrasil. Go to system. We are going to jump right on top of this planet. We're not going to click here. We're going to click on the actual gas giant itself. That's where we want to jump in. Oh, God. Now we have to go right through the center of the system. Mm, no, I don't think that's a good plan. We'll uh, just take that as a suggestion and we're going to go around the outside. This, this might take a minute. This is the worst part of this is the slow travel. No, I think once we're far enough away, we can hit sustained burn. And we don't use sustained burn all the time because it drastically increases our sensor profile. We're up to, was it, 293? Wait, once we get into open space, yeah, it's 473 when we're doing sustained burn. If we're on just normal speed without the sustained burn, it's 236. However, that drops our speed to 10, as in half. And if we go into stealth mode, it drops our speed to 8, which is actually not that bad, and reduces our sensor profile to 118. Yeah, we're, we're actually quite stealthy even now, but we can make that better and we can make ourselves harder to find. Let's just uh, get out of here. Oop. Yeah, there's a fleet. So there's something in our lower left hand corner. Let's avoid that. Yeah, we don't care if there's something on the other side. All right, let's get out of here. Yeah, fleet has entered hyperspace. Yep, that's grand. Let's go. Uh, and once we're in hyperspace, we can pretty much just ignore everyone that's around us. From now on, we cannot turn back on our transponder. We're stuck. That's it. No more transponder, no nothing. And we're going to try and avoid getting struck by some hyperspace storms along the way. Every time. I know I should slow down, but I'm lazy. All right. Turn autopilot back on. And yeah, we're going to order jump. Jump, keeping the transponder off. And we're going to cloak up. Ooh. All right. As long as we're in this planet's magnetic field, it actually reduces the chances of us getting caught. Uh, you can see phase ships in fleet, sensor scale, and going dark. All of them have driven down our sensor profile massively. Now we just got to get close enough to Ibrasil. You can hover over a fleet at any point and it will show you where the, uh, the detection radius is. Though that detection radius is so small, we can't see it. You can kind of see it just to the edge there. There's like a little yellow line. But their detection radius of us is tiny while we're in this area. Ooh. There's Tritachia. No, 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 no. Let's get out of here. Oh, this is going to be dangerous, isn't it? Yeah, probably incredibly dangerous. I'll have to wait till that patrol stands down. Ooh. Okay, very quiet. <laughs> All right, let's take a shuttle down, visit the bar. Nod to the concerned man. Okay. I've got 320 units of luxury goods that urgently need to be delivered to Sudin in the Western star system. Recent pirate activity has been making that difficult. Uh, your fleet's holds can accommodate additional 530 units, so we can afford this. Uh, the offer is 26,000. Hmm. I think we take it. We don't really have a choice because them's the rules, unfortunately. Uh, we have to accept the contract. That's only 26 grand, but we can take it. Now, we'll have to do some trading while we're here as well. While we're here, we're going to top up on supplies, which keeps our ships running. We're going to top up on some fuel as well. We kind of sold a bunch of that recently. And we're going to buy a bunch of recreational drugs. Namely because this place got the best price for drugs around. So we'll find a place to sell those at some point in the future. So for now, we've went to the efforts of coming here. We might as well confirm them. All right, perfect. Now we need to get out of here without getting caught again. Ooh, that's, that's the joy of being Kaiser Soze. For, you who, for those of you who don't get the reference, it's a, an old movie... Uh, the Usual Suspects, and the guy was called Kaiser Soze. He's basically the, the boogeyman for criminals. No one has actually ever seen him type of thing. Like, they've all heard of him, but they've never actually meet, met him. And he's, you know, one of those dark criminals that people use as the boogeyman to scare everyone else. Okay, and our plan is to never, ever be seen. Let's check under Intel. Where does that mission say we have to go? Westernese. Okay, delivery Westernese. Faction Independent. That actually makes things much simpler. All right, let's set in a course. Now, how is that going to try and take us there? Oh, God, I can't wait till we get another experience point so that we can actually use uh, the jump ability. Otherwise, this is going to be really hard. Whew. Well, on the bright side, at least we have a move speed of eight, even when we're cloaked. All right, let's turn that off. Oh, look, see there. When we turn that on, this is the detection radius of that fleet over there. That's when we're not uh, going silent. And when we are silent, 
their detection radius drops off to about there. You can see that blue line. So there's a big difference between going dark and being and just cruising at normal speed. And if you hit sustained burn, that goes up even more. So let's just be a little bit cautious here. And now that we're far enough away, sustained burn away. Well, there might be danger on the other side, but... Ooh, raiding the western east stars, and that's fine by me. We are pretty much minuscule. All right, let's head over here and try and avoid the patrols, and try not to do anything stupid. Nope. Let's uh, maybe kiss the sun a little bit to avoid that patrol. Oh, come on. I can see on the radar down there that they've got something going on. What is it? Ah, that's a mercantile convoy. That one we don't have to worry about. It's patrols that are the big issue. Is that a patrol? Mercenary scout. No, neutral. Come on, come on, come on, come on. In fact, we're just going to avoid everything we can. We want to be as in... Hmm. Ah. Okay, we dropped off everything. Excellent. Let's see if there's any more missions waiting for us. Well, mission-wise, something interesting has come up. Now, I've never actually done one of these missions before, but it seems like something that might be up our, uh, up the alley of Kaiser Soze here. Basically, this guy's got a, a smash and grab. We pay him 6,600. He's got all the planning. He knows where we gotta go and what we gotta steal. And what we gotta steal is a Shrike-class light destroyer. Now, according to this, it looks like it's an Pretty good nick, there's no damage to it. I mean, we're not gonna need it. We don't need any ships for our fleet because we're already where we're supposed to be. But I say we go for it. Now the problem is we don't have 20 marines. Now, normally I just go, well, we don't have the 20 marines. However, there is a table of tattooed roofs in the bar and they basically have 47 marines for hire. Uh, we pay 6,580 and we get 47 experienced marines. They just want us to sneak them off the place, which we will totally do. Kaiser Soze can sort you out. Hey, chat with it. So we can go back to this guy and we'll come tell him, we'll ask him for details about the vessel and we will agree. Excellent. It's simple enough to sneak two teams into the orbital hangar on shuttles disguised as civilians logistics drones. An unlucky micro impact. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. The team of handpicked marines catches the guards completely by surprise. Wow. Uh... Okay, perfect. We have just gained a new ship. Uh, that guy likes us more. Uh, perfect. Um, <laughs> right. That cost us absolutely nothing. Um, well, okay, it cost us money, but what does? Like, I don't think we can actually sell that ship for the same amount we actually we just paid. Oh, it's worth ten grand. Well, we did get marines out of it as well. Hmm. Okay, that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Let me let me do some checks here. Looking through the trade options, we're we're back to more recreational drugs. We pretty much don't have a choice. The Kumari Kadan system, the Kanai, Kanai pirates are playing a premium right now. So 180 a pop for each one of these, totally worth it. We're going to take all of those and head right over there. And then along the way, we might go and get some heavy armaments as well at the Captain Captain Starworks. Yeah, they're close enough by. We'll pop back there later to grab some of those. They have a really high markup as well. But first, yes, uh, when it comes to the ship, I think we sell it. We can't keep it in the fleet. It doesn't come with any bonuses. It's a nice ship. I really would like to keep it, but just the way we're playing right now, it does not help us. Also, I'm not seeing anything else in here that would help us out with our trials. So I think, yeah, let's just get moving. I've already plotted in a course. We should... Oop. Maybe let's just uh, skirt around that uh, oop, patrol... Yeah, no, we're going nowhere near those guys. Their visibility is terrible, but uh, I would prefer not to have to run from them if at all possible. All right. Let's do this by the numbers and stay as far away from the bad guys as possible. Well, okay, we're going straight to a pirate base, so there's probably going to be bad guys present. Though I'm not seeing anything coming up on sensors, which makes me nervous. Okay, uh, let's see how, how you're doing for drugs. You could pay a pretty penny for them. So, oh my god, 150 grand. Yep, yep, that was a worthwhile trade venture. This is why you always keep drugs in your hold. Trade-wise, I'm not seeing anything too beneficial to us here, but down at the dockside bar, we have got a rakish woman at the end of the bar who is up to basically insert this satellite into some area 
and don't get caught doing it. Which sounds like something Kaiser Soze would be up for. So, we're gonna go 11 light years away, and it's a 70,000 credits reward. I think we shall be taking that. Dead drop, we have 120 days to complete it. Deliver large, brilliant cut diamond to specified location in the Su 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 Surasa system? Okay, uh, thank you for that. Now let's get out of here, shall we? In fact, I think we will immediately go on that mission. Where are you? Okay, show on the map. Right, let's lay in a course. How much fuel is that going to take? Estimate, 32 fuel. We got 172 in the tank. I think that sounds like a good deal. Well... This looks problematic. Um, let's just turn around, shall we, and find another entrance into the system. Now, we can't see what's going on inside. All we know is we want to get in. Let's jump to... Uh, this one will have to do, I suppose. If we jump to this planet... No, that is also dangerous. I thought this was a low danger system. Come on, seriously? Fine. Fine, we'll, we'll jump to the red giant. This is gonna sting a little bit. Okay, target location. Go, go, go. This is gonna burn and we're gonna run out of supplies, aren't we? Yep, yep, that's definitely gonna burn an awful lot. Okay, drop it off in a stable orbit and now we are about to leave. I should have bought more supplies. Let's see where we are. Okay. Ooh, there's some scrap we could possibly grab. Hopefully they've got some supplies in there. Uh, I don't think I have any heavy machinery, though. I kind of sold all of that. Ooh, stellar shade. No, no, I shouldn't be here. Orbital habitat? Hmm. I mean, it'd be rude to come all this way and not at least have a look. Okay, we'll take them all. Thank you kindly. And we'll immediately uh, learn that midline brood prints. We're going to want those. Okay, unfortunately, no supplies. Well, that's a little unfortunate. Oh, we can do some salvaging. We'll take them all. Thank you kindly. And I think there's some scrap over here that we can grab. I mean, Kaiser Sosna is not above a little bit of, uh, you know, scavenging to survive. Oh, come on, there's even more scrap? Well, that's just... Yeah, I'm not going to complain. Uh, we shall scavenge through this as well. Thank you. Perfect. We now have enough supplies to get back home. Well, that was handy. Ah. Well, I th let me pick out of the closest system, or a system that hopefully we can go and uh, have a look at the planets of. Okay, let's get moving. I should, I'm actually kind of tempted to scan that planet for the, with the solar shade on it, but eh, that seems problematic. Ooh. So that's what's patrolling the area. Never mind, let's go over here instead. I'm sure there's something else nasty patrolling it. Ooh. Well, I mean, if it's, if it's on our way, we'd be, we'd be crazy not to at least do a little bit of scavenging. This is the problem. Every time you jump into a system, you're never sure if there's going to be something hanging around nearby trying to catch you. Ooh. I think they saw us. Yep, yeah, they're looking for our fleet. Time for us to hang a Louis. Ooh. Okay, let's get into the asteroid belt. Now, I picked this system because it was the closest one, and there was this asteroid belt right near the close-by planet, so we can go hide in here, and we should be pretty much undetectable. All right, we're going to head... Northish on the screen, I suppose? Is there really a north in space? Who cares? And we're gonna head right over here and see what they've got for sale. Assuming there's no nasty fleets hanging around outside. Oh, god damn it, who are you? You are a traitor. We don't care about traitors. Traitors are fine and dandy. They're not gonna bother us. So what's behind them? Another corporate traitor. Don't care about them either. Yeah, let's open the comms directory. Or, sorry, take a visit. Chuttle to the dockside bar. Nondescript woman in shadowy booth. 
All right, from what I can see, I need eyes on Hesperus in the Eos Exodus system. Um, in reasonable range? Show us the intel here. Uh, show on map. Hmm. Could be tricky. We can hide in this belt and then try and deploy it into orbit. It depends how close we need to get. Yeah, this is going to be awkward. The problem is this, when you accept one of these missions, it's not like a normal thing. There will be extra patrols looking for you there. We may have to do some things. Hmm. But... Rules are the rules. Kaiser Soze has to accept them. Okay, well, that was um, what we had to do. Let's go see if they've got anything worth trading for. We're going to buy some supplies, sell off some of that metal scrap that we acquired. Uh, we might want to actually pick up some fuel. What's the price here? You know what? It's a reasonable... Im the price of fuel here is pretty reasonable. We'll take it. It still leaves us with a bit of space. And now, considering where we're heading... Might be an idea to bring a few things with us. The only thing worth bringing with us here is actually the heavy armaments. We can sell them f at Batias Independence in ES Exodus. God, that took too long to figure out, but eh, we're not going to make too much of a profit. There's only 16 of them here. That's kind of weak sauce. wonder if we can land at the other planet around here. It might be possible. Uh, let's just have a quick look-see. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Pull back out of range there. Uh, we'll have a look, but considering... This is the military. Yeah, this is a military base. They're probably going to have patrols coming out the wazoo. So we might just have to run away, like, really quickly. The moment we get anywhere within range of it. And uh, not seeing anything. Oh, there we go. We've got fast picket, fast picket. That's a foot. Yeah, we're not getting close to that one. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 Just, nope. Big, huge bowls of nope. Let's get out of here right now. Yeah, I don't trust any of those guys. Alright, we're in. Now, we need to be real careful about this. Uh, mercantile Convoy, don't care. Just stay tight in the asteroid belt until we get even... Like, until we get much closer. We need to get as close as we can while keeping the asteroid belt beside us. Oh yeah, here we are. We've got Ludic Church Holy Armada. And they're huge. That means their sensor radius pickup is going to be pretty large. And let's see what this looks like towards us. Uh, can't really see it. Uh, oh, there we go. Yeah, they're covering the station. We need to stay outside of their range. Wait until their patrol pattern takes them far. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's bad. That is bad. That is bad. Pursuing your fleet. Okay, what's your movement speed? You have a movement speed of nine. I think we have to burn for it. We don't have a choice. This is unfortunate. Emergency burn activate. Let's get out of here. Go, 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 gadget boots. Okay. What we're going to do? Wait until the burn wears off. Hit two to go dark. Immediately take a hard left. Yep. Hope they don't do a sensor ping right about now. That would be incredibly awkward. Okay, okay, that's good, that's good. So while they're off doing a wild goose chase over there, uh, we are going to immediately head back. Oh, come on, they're going to get bored after a while. Uh, we're going to get rid of our stealth for a minute. Just that gives us that tiny bit of extra speed. Uh, oh, damn it, there's another patrol. It's a convoy. Okay, convoys don't care. What's that? Patrol duty. Okay, they're getting ready for patrol duty, but we're not in range yet. We're not in range yet. I'm gonna go dark. Perfect. That means... Yeah, we're good. We're good. Get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there. Now, 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 now. Ooh. Making a cover... What? No! Oh, come on! Traveling to sensor array. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Fine, then. We will go visit this Ludic Church. Let's see what the bar has for us. Okay, what do you got? Okay, what kind of opportunity? A steady supply. Oh, no. This is only if you have a colony. We do not have a colony. That should be showing up. Approach the woman smoking in the dark corner. Requires 200 marines. Yeah, I don't think we have 200 marines. Hmm. 
However, what's the bar got? Or what have they got to trade here? 55 marines. No. Nope, nope, nope. Heavy armor mod spec. Hmm, 405 for the heavy armaments. Ah, actually, we'll take those. I think we can trade those away to a, a local place for 822 a pop, so that's a good trade. We'll take them. And drugs, they're actually not the worst drugs I've seen. Hmm. Yeah, for 176. Uh, you know what? We don't have this. Do we have the cargo space? We do have the cargo capacity. Let's take them with us. Ah, uh, fine. Now we still have to figure out somehow to actually do this mission. Ah, uh, you. Yeah, returning to... Let me think for a minute. I think what we'll have to do is find out where they have a sensor relay. They have this sensor array over here. Uh, wait, no, that's stability for the same faction. This is makeshift sensor array. If we mess with their sensor array, we can cause sensor ghosts, which cause them to bugger off and chase them. And then we can run in while they're away. Well, that's the theory. But I'm going to hang around here for a bit and see if I can't find a gap uh, in their patrols. If I do, great. If I don't, uh, we'll have to go that route. Ooh, 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 there's a gap, there's a gap. Get in there, get in there, get in there. Deploy the spy sat. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Kaiser frickin' Soze. All right, get out of here. Quick, 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 quick. Well, okay, as quick as we can while stealthing. We're, we're stealthing quickly away from the scene of the crime. Oh, damn it, who are you? Patrolling neutral. Uh, well, I don't want to tangle with patrolling neutral just in case. It's time for us to head to Bati Batius. Yeah, we're going to head to Batius in a second. Ah, that was exactly what I was expecting this playthrough to be like. Just sort of mostly just wandering around doing stuff with the occasional moments of absolute terror as you're like, okay, am I about to end my entire run because I did one stupid thing? Okay, these patrols don't really care because they're neutral. As far as I'm aware, they won't try and run us down. I'm aware, though I've never really cared about neutral patrols before. What are you? You're a fast picket, preparing for patrol duty. Well, let's see what happens. Yeah, no, they don't seem to care. Oh, okay. Nope, we don't care about that one. Let's do a little bit of trading here. We're going to... Oop, black market. We're going to drop off our... I thought you were paying a premium on heavy armaments. Well, it would appear the negative that was affecting them and driving up the price of heavy armaments has worn off. That's unfortunate. While we're here, there we're going to grab flux resistant conduits, makeshift shield generators, uh, stabilized shields, and advanced turret gyros. Namely, because, well, once you buy them, they stop showing up, and uh, we'd like to get a few of the other mods. Which reminds me, there's a refit I should have done a while ago. When it comes to our character, we've actually managed to generate two story points by doing just trading and generally, well, doing what needs doing. So what we are going to do is we're going to build in some mods into this. All right, we want to build in the augmented drive field. Uh, if we do that... Yeah, it costs us the story point. We can confirm. Perfect. That frees up a bunch of space. And then at the same time, we can stick in... Where is it? Ah, ins insulated engine assembly. Uh, increases the durability of the ship's engines, blah, blah, blah. But the ship's sensor profile is also reduced by 50%. Excellent. So now we've got expanded cargo holes, instable injector. This would actually be very useful if we get into combat. Uh, Insulated engine assemblies means we're much harder to see. And combine that with the augmented drive field means we move fast and we're hard to be spotted. This is perfect. Our sensor profile has been reduced to 45. In fact, we can go back here. We've got expanded cargo hold and auxiliary fuel tanks. Get rid of the auxiliary fuel tanks. We don't need them. And instead, we want to put in the insulated engine and assembly. There we go. Perfect. We're not going to build anything into that one. It's. I feel bad like spending that many points on it otherwise. All right, we'll get ourselves some uh, vents and things to even this out, but I think that looks just about right. That will make this next mission that little bit easier. Right now, there looks to be a sail in Cap Cap Capitan Starworks uh, from the Pirates. That's only 3.7 light years away. I say we pop over and grab some of that while we're in the area. And in fact, let's grab some supplies as well. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're not buying anything on the open market. We're not those type of people. We don't buy stuff on the open market. That's That's a sucker's game. Uh, Fuel-wise, now we're grand. I'll actually leave the heavy machinery here in case we end up getting one of those missions that sends us out again, even though I feel it's mildly wasteful. 
Uh, let's uh, let's get on the way. One reason I like going to Capitan Starworks is, well, it's actually in a nice location. It's located in an asteroid belt, uh, so we don't really have to worry too much about getting caught going to it. And let's make sure we don't get hit by any patrols on the way down here. Yeah, you can see you over there. I know you're thinking about it. All right, let's go, 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 go. Perfect. And once we're out of the system, we can just immediately go to sustained burn and hit the gas. Ooh. Slow down. Slow down. You don't want to get hit by the lightning. Yo, oh, God damn it! There's lightning everywhere. You know, I don't know why they have those type of things. It just makes moving around so much more frustrating. Uh, order the jump. Uh, jump keeping the transponder off. I bet you there's a mod somewhere that that basically turns the transponder off and never allows you to turn it on again. All right, we're in. Let's go immediately hide in one of the asteroid belts. Make sneaking in closer a bit easier. Ooh. Someone's attacking it. Percy and League Patrol are engaged in battle. Well, that's nice. The great thing is they're so tiny, I think we can sneak in the other side. Plus, they're kind of distracted getting into a fight right now. And... Yeah. Okay, find it with the shady man with the off-brand data pad is offering people. Help me move 100 units of luxury goods to Haciferous, whatever, show me the intel. Uh, show me on the map. Okay, it's near an asteroid belt, that gives us some chances. Warning beacon? What the? Why is there a warning beacon? You know what? We still have to take it, so I don't know why I'm even humming and hawing over this, we don't have a choice. Fine, we will accept. We have 60 days to complete this, and it's worth 35 grand. Hmm. All right, trade time. Let's make sure that they've definitely selling some of those. Ooh, they're selling those sweet, sweet armaments for low, low prices. 297 per unit? Um, yeah, we'll take them. Like, it, they're, they're buying them for 800 a pop in the other place. We can buy 200 of these for 313, sell 200 of them for 807 at Nominos, assuming the price holds until we get there. That's a massive profit. We're yeah. Thank you. That's sixty-two grand. We will take all of those. In fact, we might even take a few more. Hmm. No, 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 no. Let's not get too greedy. Greed. A little bit of greed's good. Too much can hurt you. Let me do a few more checks. They also have a couple of of these blueprints. I like to buy these and just get them done with. All right. I say we go drop off the heavy armaments and then we got to do the luxury goods mission. So, first up, we're heading to Arcadia, 7.2 light years, to go to Nominos Independent. Oh, we're actually only down to 45 supplies. Uh, we'll pick some up on the other side. I've already laid in a course. Let's get out of here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's stay away from them. Yeah, they're engaged in battle. They don't care about us. That is good. In fact, I think we're just going to hit the sustained burn. I'm not going to worry too much about getting caught. Just for this second, and immediately out to the other side. Excellent. Oh, low speed. Why is there storms everywhere? It just makes going through hyperspace so much slower. Uh, there we go. Ooh, mercantile convoy. Grand, grand, grand. Uh-oh. Whoop, 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 whoop. Out of there, out of there. Guard guarding the what passage? The Syrinx passage. Okay, fine. Well, they should have noticed that the wormhole just opened and nothing came out. But I suppose they're guards. They don't care. Oh, okay. Let's get down here, shall we? Okay. Please tell me that the prices haven't changed. Your prices better have remained... Ooh, yeah, they're looking tasty. Yep, 200 unit deficit. Let's go to the black market. Uh, how much are you willing to pay for that? Oh, 160. That's, that's good. Yeah, in fact, you can take them all. We will keep one, just so that we can keep track of the price for later. And done. 421 grand. We're almost halfway to our goal. While we're here, they've, they've actually got a nice little thing going for them. This place is the cheapest place to buy harvested organs. So... Well, I mean, I am a RimWorld player, so I can't not buy some harvested organs while well, I'm in the place that sells them for literally the cheapest. And there's a place just 2.4 light years away that's more than willing. They're like at a deficit of 200 organs. We're just, you know, supply and demand. We're just here to fill that that void. Unfortunately, we're running a little bit low on supplies. That's making me uncomfortable. Unfortunately, they're charging way too much here. But let's find somewhere nearby that's selling them for a little better. What's the dockside bar got? Huh. Talk to the man who ordered the cadet, cadet to apprehend you. Huh. 
We need an agent extracted from the colony on Quarus. A flag task force cannot do this due to political considerations. We need 150 marines. Well, we don't have that. Uh, let me have a look, though. I have been tempted by the idea of maybe picking up a transport ship or a, you know, a, a troop ship, but I haven't been able to find one that's been in good condition on the market, so unfortunately, no. Course laid in for Magek, Nikanata's den, whatever. And uh, let's go, where does it say? Yeah, Ka Ka Kanata's den. Uh, we're going to go through the Sphinx Passage. Three story points to spend and one skill point to spend. Finally. All right. This increases our maximum burn level by one. Minus 30% terrain movement penalty from all applicable terrain increases the burn bonus of the sustained burn ability by one and gives you the transverse reverse jump ability. Oh, yeah, I think it's got to be this one. Of all the things, I think this is the one that'll help us the most. With this on our side, we'll be able to move just that scooch faster. Uh, perfect. And we still have three story points left over. Now, uh, what's our current burn speed? Eight while we're moving with Go Dark. Still going to be eight because we're dark. Uh, oh. Yeah, there's a guy ahead of us. Let's not lose it. What are you doing? You're guarding the Sphinx Passage or whatever it's called. Styrix, Styrix Passage. Get out of our way, buddy. What's your sensor range? Absolutely minuscule compared to ours. Yeah, I can see the little ring there. Oop, oop, oop. Order jump to hyperspace. Bye bye. Done. Oh, for the love of. Why is there always a lightning storm everywhere you're going? I'm telling you, it's just. It's built that way. What are you? Hound class combat frigate. Not worth rescuing. Or not worth scrapping. Okay, let's get in here. Order jump, jump keeping the transponder off. Immediately switch to go dark. Hmm. Nice system you've got here. Uh, let's see what we got. Hmm. Kanata's den. I do like this place. All right, let's uh, have a quick look at the dockside bar. Approach the man smoking in the dark corner. What have you got? Ah, unjust confinement. Needs 200 marines. Like, I would love to help you. I really would. It's just, we've not been able to get our hands on a good troop transport. One that hasn't been riddled with problems. Uh, let me, yep. None here either. Sorry, buddy. So, this place is crying out for harvested organs. And by crying out, I mean 97,000. Ah, just almost halfway there. Kaiser Soze challenge. Just, just, just getting there little by little. We unfortunately don't have any deals we're interested in, but we'll take the uh, the research. Namely just to stop them showing up all the time. And now I think it's time we finished off that... Oh, actually there is one thing we need to do here. We are running dangerously low on supplies, and this place is crying out for them. And there is a place nearby where we can pick them up at relative chief, Nova Maximus. This place is the production center for the independence. And as such, it is loaded with, well, all the basic supplies and stuff like that. So we should be able to pop over there and load up, which is good, because we're down to about 12. Are you on my radar? See you. You are unidentified fleet returning. You are in the gravitational well or the magnetic field of a planet, so I can't see you. Sneaky, sneaky. Eh, not like I can talk. All right, Novus Maximus. Nova Maximus? Yeah, they don't seem to mind you know, that we don't have our thing on. Oh yeah, chat with the tough-looking men wearing the powered armored undersuit. Ah, excellent. Do tell. Is this one of those ship things? 7,900 credits and all we need is 20 marines. Condor class can ship. Oh, any problems with this one? Erratic fuel injector, compromised armor, and a glitched sensor array. This does not look like a good deal. Not at all at all. I mean, 7,900 for a ship which I'm not sure we'd make, we'd recover that. Uh, no thank you. This, uh, nice chat, but, I mean, you literally are just buying the ship at that point. Approach the thoughtful-looking businesswoman in the private booth. Uh, what kind of opportunity? Oh, I need a supply. No! You think I would have recognized those ones at this point. All right, give us some supplies so we can get out of here. We are going to max out the cargo hold with 288 supplies. Why? Well, because we can immediately go back and sell them at the other place. Uh, this place is actually crying out for them right now. They've got a deficit of about 1,500, so we can do a quick jaunt back and forth. In fact, yeah, I don't think that there's anyone around here who actually cares what speed we're doing, so let's, uh, maybe burn this a little bit faster, shall we? 
And we'll hit the occasional asteroid or... Whoa. Who's fighting? Uh, unidentified fleet engaged in battle. Well, I am not going to mess with the unidentified fleet. Uh, oh, yep. Still a man smoking in the dark corner. Trade goods. Yep, you are paying... Actually, not even that much of a premium. We'll give it, We'll leave ourselves about a hundred. You can have the rest. There you go. I'm not sure if we made a profit from that. <laughs> Oops. Okay, Intel, we need to go to our next mission. Smuggling luxury goods. Show us on the map. Uh, let's lay in a course. Now, I don't want to jump in right on top of it. If we jump in right on top of the planet, we might get immediately nabbed by a patrol. So I say we come in on top of this planet. Yeah, we lay in a course for that planet. We should be able to jump straight into its gravitational well. It's not actually owned by anyone, so there shouldn't be any patrols nearby. Operative word be shouldn't. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's start the burn. I want to get there quickly, if at all possible. Order jump to hyperspace. We have... Actually, let me double check. We've got plenty of fuel, plenty of supplies, and we do have cargo space. After this, we should be pretty close to the half a mil. Order jump. Nope, nope. Keep the transponder off. Immediately go dark. Where are you headed? Hmm. No, no, no. We need to go down this direction. I need to keep an eye out for patrols. I'm pretty sure there's going to be buttloads of them. Hey, we got something on the radar. Bottom left. What do we got down here? Where are you? You are patrol. Neutral. Oh, we don't care about them. Oop. We got another one. That one we do care about. Oh, Mercantile Convoy. No, 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 no. We're good. Jesus, how many? Like, I'm seeing all these radar blips and they're making me nervous. It's down here. Okay, radar blips. What are you? I'm going to try and get closer and find out what these things are. Ah. Asteroid junk around a planet. Nope, we're good. We'll investigate that later. Ooh. Another Mercantile Convoy. Fine. It's fine. This playstyle just makes me nervous. Uh, we're looking at phase ship, sensor skill, going dark at inside a nebula. We are definitely doing fine on that front. Now we're inside a nebula, inside an asteroid belt. <laughs> we're pretty much invisible. Like a pretty like their detection range would have to be right on top of us. But we've got Little Church, Holy Armada. We've got patrollers, and I don't know what you are. Watchers. Well, that's just great. The moment we leave here, we're getting nailed. So we need to be super careful. Yeah, I think it's going to be a case of me going back and forth here for a while until they decide to change their patrol paths and we can nip in. I think i got to realize is the moment I leave the nebula to get close to the planet, their detection radius is going to spike. Like, there it is. We're outside the nebula now. So now their detection radius is going to go up. Ooh, 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 ooh. Nope, 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 nope. Stay away. Damn it, I should be in there already. What am I doing? What am I doing? Stop being so stupid. Get in there. And... Excellent. Perfect. That improves their relationship. Uh, pirates. Potential contact. Gilgamesh. Hmm. Importance high. Type underworld. We might want to develop a contact. Checking our trade goods. We're up to half a million. A cool half a mil. Let me see if they've got anything special at the dockside bar. First one is offering military bounties. So that's fighting missions. Second one is offering to sell us a rather cruddy ship, which we are not inclined to buy. This woman does have a smuggling mission for us, but it requires us to have 1,120 units of cargo space. We we can't afford that. Even if we stripped everything out of our cargo holds, we should, wouldn't be able to get it. Uh, that's just annoying. I really would like to take that mission, but we can't do it. Unless they've got some sort of ships in here that we could potentially use. Like, I mean... We could, of course, buy a Colossus, but then we wouldn't be able to sneak anywhere. We're, we're going with a sneaky approach, so we got to be more discreet. We can pick up some fuel, but there's nothing here worth taking. I say we go to Esconia. Esconia, you can see there that Norte Independent are paying a premium on drugs, and in the same system, Sindrian Diktat are selling them for nice and cheap. So we can buy some in the same system, and we've already got 100 in storage, and they've got a deficit of 800. I say we pop over and pay them a visit, and they pay us. I think this will be our last mission of the day. Namely because this video is already getting way too long. Don't get me wrong, I think this I think this playthrough is working out exactly how I was hoping it would work out. It's just that tense moment of, did we do something stupid that's going to get us killed and mess up... Oh, what are you? Damn it, there's too many ships going around here. Patrol. Yeah, well, you're not going to see us. 
And let's keep going. Ooh. All right. Okay, system cleared. Jump to hyperspace. Get us out of here. Sustained burn. For a second there, I thought that ship was chasing us. All right. Go, 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 go. Uh, order jump. Automatically go dark. Can't see anything around here trying to jump on us just yet. Okay, Ooh, who are you? You are Mercantile Convoy. Mercantile Convoys don't care. They are non-aggressive. You are Mercenary Patrols. Mercenaries don't care about us, or Neutrals. They don't chase down people who don't have their things on. Uh, patrolling, 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 yeah. I don't know what they're patrolling for. Let's have a quick check to make sure. Hmm, okay, Spacer, what do you got? Uh, never mind. They just told us the location of a pirate base that I don't care about. Right, delivers this item to a specified location. 77. Well, I can't decline that. Because, you know, it's part of the rules. Fine. Fine. We'll do it. We got... What, what do you want us to drop off? Deliver black ultimate lobster shell to a specified location. Is that just one? Like, do we have to drop off one lobster shell? Uh, okay, wherever it is, it's, it's in our cargo hold. Let's see what these guys are paying for drugs. Not enough. Oh, wait. I went to the wrong planet in system. I'm an idiot. I should be going to the Umbra Pirates, not to this independent place. Uh, while we're here, though, we're going to pick up the expanded crew decks. Yes, thank you kindly. We will take those. Just so that we can knock them off the list. Now, where did we put that pirate system? Uh, consider your... No, no, we don't need to worry about any of that stuff. It's the pirates we're trying to get to. Ah, Umbra over here. Oh, and Sindria, it seems, does stock reasonably cheap drugs. Let's maybe have a quick swing by on the way. What are you, Mercantile Convoy? However, I'm concerned that this place might have some military patrols going on, so let's go in stealthy. Well, we always go in stealthy, but let's just be super duper careful. What are you, scavengers? Yeah, we don't care about you. That's great. Who are you, mercenary scouts? And, oh yeah, we should probably go around the sun. Flying through that burns a little bit. You are Mercenary Patrol, that's grand. You guys are... Hmm. I'm not seeing any patrol ships around here at all. Well, let's visit the Dockside Bar. See what kind of trouble you can get into with the Underworld boss. Right, okay, what have you got on offer for us, sir? Continue, continue. I could use your grand game. Bring the spaceport at Citadel Arcadia offline for 60 days. Yeah, no, we can't do that, I'm afraid. We just don't have the options. It's also... Hmm. What the hell? Oh, they'll tell us the location of something? Uh, yeah, no, no, I'm good. Thank you kindly, but we don't need anyone. We're going to buy them out of pretty much all their drugs. In fact, you know what? We're going to take all their drugs. About 171 a pop each. We can sell all of these for about 302 over in, like, literally in the same system, which seems kind of broken. you think someone would have just decided, hey, we'll, we'll just go swing those across for you. Why not? Okay, course plotted. Let's get out of here. In fact, I'm not even seeing any patrols. I'm going to be naughty and hit the sustained burn so we can get there a little bit faster. Oh, seeing some ships. That is... What is that? Lion's Guard Patrol. I hope they're not coming after us. You know what? Don't care. Nope. Oh. I saw something on the sensors over there. I'm pretty sure there's some pirates patrolling. Problem with pirates is sometimes they want to kill you and eat you. Oh, yeah. Unidentified, unidentified. Their detection radius is pretty small, but... Oh, yeah. They would eat us for breakfast. What the hell? Oh, my God. How many fleets do you have? What is wrong with you? Oh, and they're doing active sensor bursts every so often. That is just wonderful. Unidentified fleet delivering unknown ores and things. Well, that's... What the hell? There's another fleet! How many do you have? Okay, and there's another fleet. I'm pretty sure we're going to get sensor pinged in a second. Unidentified fleet raiding the Esconia star system. Yeah, there's no honor among thieves around here. Unidentified fleet patrolling. Great, we have about zero chances of getting in there without getting nailed, but I mean, we can't not do it. It's just the prize for getting in here is too much. Oop, oop, oop. Yep, yep, perfect. Easy peasy, easy peasy. 
Uh, why don't you take all of those drugs? Uh, you will pay us 85 grand and uh, we will just uh, be on our way. Excellent. Uh, thank you. Actually, was that black market? Yeah, that was, that was definitely black market. Oh, right. Now we just have to get out of here without ending up dead. We are kind of heavily surrounded. All right, now there is a few things in here that are mildly interesting. Uh, this one here, despite the anonymous work suit, fine Tracy, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we have to destroy, uh, deploy a commsat package uh, right here in Kazeron, which is right surrounded by a, a whole bunch of asteroid belts. That is perfect. We would love to take that one. So we're going to accept that. Thank you very much. Oh, wow. Now we've got two missions to do. Uh, there's this, the crisply uniformed officer. Uh, he wants us to carry out an orbital bombardment. I don't think we have the capacity for that just yet. Okay, one second. Now, I've set ourselves up on a path away. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, let's just maybe get a little bit away from these guys before we decide to maybe turn on any engines. Oh, I think that is more than enough for today. Kaiser Soze has been very, very busy. He appeared in the Corvus system and then just vanished and hasn't showed back up again anywhere at all, which I kind of like the idea of. Uh, why can't I not move this map right? Ah, there we go. So I'm thinking for the second half of this, we do marine missions. If we could get our hands on a phantom or something like that, that would be really handy. Hard to acquire, though. We'd have to check a lot more bars. And considering we can't actually just stroll in with our transponder on, that's going to be a little bit slower. But I think we might be able to get our hands on one reasonably soon. If we can't, we'll have to just keep doing what we're doing. Now, if you have any suggestions of some things I should do, because I've never played the stealth style before, I think maybe we should develop some contacts. There is a way to do that. In here, we've got these pirates with the underworld. We could develop these contacts by spending some... Actually, what do you think we need to develop, spend some story points? Yeah, let's develop this. Develop, develop a relationship with this contact. They'll become a priority. Uh, whether they're whether cultivating a relationship with the contact is a priority for you. Priority contacts will have more missions available and the missions will be of a higher quality. The more priority contacts you have, the less impact there is on each individual contact. It takes about a month for changes. I say we go for it. If... Nope, that's off. Uh, there we go. We'll make them a priority contact and see if that helps us out in the future. Anyway... RimWorld, back on Monday. It's just I needed a little bit of time to get uh, a full episode done. We're kind of coming up on the end of it, and I want to make sure that there's a lot crammed into it, and there's a lot that needs doing, so I'll kind of just put in a little bit of this in the meantime while we're waiting. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and good luck. Mm -hmm.